Hey, it's PMR. I've got the uh, A1 Mark II loaded with firmware 4.0, and I just wanted to run through really quickly my uh, settings for especially autofocus, just to kind of clear the, uh, there's so many settings. So let's get into it. All right, here we go. Uh, I'm just gonna roll right down to AF, MF. Okay, focus mode. Continuous AF is really, really crucial. Uh, if you get a camera out of the box, it's going to be set to AFA, which you do not want ever. You want to be in AFC, continuous autofocus, so make sure you change that. I used balanced emphasis for AFC. I don't have any problem. AF level for crossing, I use four. AF track speed for speed change, responsive. AF illuminator is off. Make sure that's off. It's, it violates the NCAA rules for basketball to have it on. Uh, let's see here. AF with shutters off because I'm a back button focuser and you're never going to change that for me. Though people like to argue about it. Okay, focus area. Uh, I'm using uh, uh, tracking spot S. Uh, I used to use medium all the time, but I find that uh, the small setting is actually working better for me. And if I use the 600 F4 with a 1.4, I actually go to extra small. But I use S for everything now, where I used to use the other. So that's a, a, wor a really worth uh, doing. Okay, oh, that should be on. AF point. Um, switch vertical horizontal AF area, I, I definitely have that on. Uh, focus area color, always red, works much better, even at a Georgia game. All right, let's see here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Subject recognition and autofocus. I leave this on now. I used to leave it off, but I'm, I'm leaving it on. Recognition target is human, but if you go to the right, now this is not so obvious here, but if you click right here, you will get this menu that pops up. So left, right. Now if you go, you see the arrow over there on the far right, you go right again and you get this whole range. Okay, the standard is how it comes out of the box. I use narrow, so I think that's really, really, really important. Um, so uh, definitely don't miss this setting because that could be the answer to your problems. And just really quick, what's going on here is the AF Tracking Plus. When you go to the five setting uh, on that human one, it is narrowing the, the, the autofocus uh, AI. It's basically giving the, uh, the algorithm more information about, I only want this person. Don't give me anything else but this person. And so it's really important to do this, okay? All right, uh, let's see. That all is pretty much good. Yeah, I don't need any of this stuff. Okay, in the color tone menu, this is a little extra stuff. I'm just gonna talk briefly about, um, there are games that we shoot in perfect light and there's games that we shoot in horrendous light. Now, the horrendous light games can be really dark gyms where we're just struggling to get anything to you know hit the sensor in terms of exposure. But it also, it can be a noon start football game in bright, bright sunlight where you're shooting backlit Maybe you're shooting an African-American player in a black uniform backlit, and it can be really difficult to get a face out of that helmet. Um, and so when you go here to D-Range Optimizer, um, this setting is pretty cool. It has a bunch of different levels to it. Um, auto is kind of, I think, where the camera's set when it comes out of the box, but um, level two or three is really good for those really tough games where you're in the dark or in just really harsh, nasty light. Um, I use this a lot. It's very, very helpful. And if it's really bad, I will switch from JPEG into high files, 
where you get way, way more uh, color gamut. Um, you get a whole bunch more um, dynamic range that way. So a lot of people don't use this at all um, and you, you can turn it off, but I think level two is kind of where mine is set all the time. So just give you, give you an idea about that. All right, that's it. I hope this video has been helpful to you that have done the 4.0 upgrade. Remember, the 4.0 upgrade affects the entire algorithm across the board. There's no way to turn 4.0 on in your menus. It's already on all the time once you do the firmware 4.0 upgrade. So if you're using A93 or the A1 Mark II and you've done the 4.0, you're good to go and you're already seeing the benefits of Tracking Plus. Thanks so much for watching on PMR.